Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another edition of Guitar Guts, the weekly guitar vlog with me, Mark Murray. This week, I jammed with a bunch of my buddies. We jammed some Rage Against the Machine. I'll probably show you some of that. Also, I got this guitar even one step closer to being played, so I'll show you all the steps, you know, I'll give you a kind of a little run through of all the different stages this thing's gone through. I've had this thing for probably 15 years. I used to play it in different forms, so I'll show you that kind of stuff too. And I, it took a bunch of work. I hard mounted this bridge. It's not a floating Floyd Rose like a normal one. I'll explain why in a minute and show you what I had to do to get this thing to actually do that. But uh, here's a little jamming clip and then I'll talk about the guitar. originally started its life as a $99 Squire Strat bullet. So it had one humbucker, it had this rosewood neck which one day I dremeled out to be scalloped which turned out horrible. Just recently I painted the headstock so it's just kind of an experiment. I've got it all taped up, that's why it looks like that. But anyways, um, I've got, you know, I, I've got old pictures of me jamming with it from when I was in a band years ago when I was just a teenager. I put an EMG 81. Here's a picture of it next to my old Marshall. Actually, the same Marshall I still play out of. What am I saying? Um, I had an EMG 81 in it. I played it in my old band, Luckdown. Here's a couple of old pictures of us playing at the Oxnard High School. Um, probably 2004, 2003, something like that. So eventually, I wanted to make this, in, probably around 2005, I wanted to make this into a Eddie Van Halen Frankenstein just like this. But I didn't know how to do it. So I went out and just bought red paint, I sprayed it red, and I thought that you were supposed to add the stripes after. Turns out red's go, red goes on last, you're supposed to do the black and white before. So I ended up just putting tape on, you know, here's a picture of it with uh, the tape when I finally finished it. I even got a picture, you know, of it, uh, here's the old original gray before I painted it red, hanging up. Then there's me painting it. That's me, long hair, I looked crazy back then. I even had one of those little sprayers. Um, I didn't have the maple neck or the Floyd, so it didn't end up perfect, but here again, this is the finished product here. It looks pretty good, not too bad. I burnt the headstock and looked pretty good, but this is the same exact guitar. So this is a, a Floyd Rose I bought off uh, eBay from China for like 20 bucks. Same with the neck, I bought it from eBay for 20 bucks, you know, from China. And they look cool. This whole thing is really just an experiment to test my paint skills. I was going to ride it out for a Floyd, but one huge problem happened. Uh, at one point, I must have, I don't remember doing it even, it must have been somewhere in the middle. I routed the whole middle out, and I was probably going to put some type of three pickup uh, pick situation in it, but I went too deep, and there's not enough room on the back. You know, normally it's cut out in the back, and you have to put up the, the springs in there that counterbalance the Floyd. It's too deep, so I can't do it. So, what I did was I took a Floyd Rose, and if you take all these little saddles off, like this one here, you can see, uh, I've got pictures of it too in videos, uh, we'll go into some of them. But I got a, I took all the saddles off, and exposed the holes that line, that allow you to take off the bottom block. Which is this. So this is the block that was supposed to be on there. I took that off, and I hard mounted it, and I screwed it on. I also had to... Uh, counter sink a hole for this. If you notice this hangs down. That's the whammy bar receptacle. This whammy bar is not going to work because it's solid mounted. So I don't even know if I'm going to mount one in there because if someone picks it up one day and just goes to rip it off, you know, down, it might just rip out of the body. So I might not even put one on there. Alright, I got my hole drilled for the whammy bar to recess down into. I got my two holes drilled here for the the bridge to mount directly in there. And it looks like it's time to put it on and test the height and see how it's going to do against that nut and neck. 
All right, here's the screws mounted in. Got this all flush. Got to put the saddles back on now. And there it is. Nice and hard mounted on the body. So the next step for me is going to be wet sanding this. I got to disassemble it. I've had to find the center point. You take a straight edge on each side. Um, I might have showed that in some of the videos. Straight edge down each side of the neck. And then you can find a center point going across, follow it down, measure it from the nut. A bunch of math is involved. But I'll be able to wet sand this thing soon, put it back together, and it'll be pretty much done. So I'll wire it up with that DVS bastard in it. And then, now that I learned a lot doing this one, I'm going to do this one next. I'm going to route this one for a Floyd. I'm going to, uh, it's already got the nice maple neck. I'm going to put a real Floyd. I'm not going to use one of these cheap Chinese ones because these are, you know, I'll put this in, in the Bumblebee because the Bumblebee is a cheaper one that I'm going to be doing. This is one of the other projects I'm working on. But this one I want to make it nicer. This is a solid fender strat, so I'll put I'll put a move that DVS bastard into this one and make this into a nice playable Frankie. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It makes a huge difference. I'm trying to get to at least a hundred subscribers so I can get the URL YouTube.com/slash/GuitarGuts, which I don't have yet. Um, other than that, you can find the videos at GuitarGuts.com or Google, you can find the vlog at GuitarGuts.com or on YouTube, just search Guitar Guts Vlog. Um, also like the video if you liked it, if you have any questions or recommendations or comments or you have something you want me to talk about, you can send me a comment down below, you can send me a private message on Instagram, at Guitar Guts. You can follow me on Instagram of course, you'll see pictures and progress of all these guitars, clips of me jamming with my friends. Pretty much all the same kind of stuff that you'll see on these videos. So, thanks so much guys for watching and I'll see you next week.